I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to set up Privy for your Shopify store. So if you don't already have it installed, head over to the Shopify app store and you can find it by searching just for the name Privy. Then once you're there, click install. Mine says open app because I already have it installed, but click that and that will bring you to the installation page. Once you accept those permissions, this will bring you to the setup account sequence. So once there, we'll click on set up your account and let's go and enter some information. So first you'll need your business name. I'm just gonna leave this as the default Shopify store name. You'll need the website URL, your email, mine's blurred out here, your phone number, your industry. I'm just gonna put clothing as an example in what you sell. This test store sells camping gear and I'll click on next. Next, let's go and set up some information. This is your brand information that's gonna be included in the preview pop-up. So we'll need a logo. We have a default image as well and the brand colors. I'm just gonna upload two blank images here for both my logo and then my default image. So I'll just use this photo. that will go upload my default image here. So again, just the same thing. Click use this photo again, and then I'll click next. Our last part here is just our goal, whether it's to send my first email, set up my first automation or grow my list. I'll just leave this as send my first email for now and let's click get started. So if I then click to the dashboard, we can see overall. So Privy has quite a few features built in. We can send campaigns, set up automations. We can also have a pop-up to go and collect emails. So for this setup video, I'll be focusing on two things. First, we're gonna set up a pop-up to collect emails, and then we'll make sure the abandoned cart automation is set up as well. So when we head to the dashboard here, it's gonna recommend that we first grow and create our first pop-up. So on the homepage here, I'm gonna click the design my first pop-up. It's going to recommend that we have a coupon code by offering some type of discount. This is going to be an incentive for customers when they first sign up to actually share their email. I'm just gonna select the 10% off by default then click activate and continue. So if we go back to the dashboard, we need to set up our pop-up now. From the top menu, I'm gonna click on convert, go down to play. These are essentially pre-built templates here. I'm gonna scroll down to the welcome discount pop-up. Here, I'm going to click create, as this allows me to grow my email list here, and it's gonna to show to people who haven't signed up yet. Clicking on create, you can select the coupon. That's the 10% one-off I just created. And from there, I'm gonna click on continue. This will bring us to the design and display section. Now, if you're using an ad blocker or anything like that, that was preventing mine from showing up, so you might be experiencing the same problem. But from there, on our left-hand side, we have the ability to add different elements, to display styles, as well as change the background color. And in the center here, we get a preview of what it's going to look like. If we wanna change any of these elements, we can just click on them here. It's already shown up with my default image, which is a blank one and we have our header. So join us, sign up for your first 10% off, and then the subscribe button. Now, since we are on the free plan here, it will show our Powered by Privy logo. We can also add new elements here. Let's say you wanna add more text. You can then go and drag this around. For now, I'm going to remove this here. I'm just gonna leave these as the defaults. To note, after we've customized our pop-up, if we click thank you page at the bottom here, we can then see what's gonna be shown to the customer after they've entered in their email. So for this one, I'm just gonna remove the image here and I'll just leave this as the you're on the list, use the code below to get a discount. But if you're satisfied with the design, we'll go to the top right hand side and click on publish. And so we've created our pop-up, we've set the target. Now for the follow-up here, it's gonna send an immediate email saying, thanks for signing up with our business name inserted. This is gonna be a welcome email just confirming their subscription. If we click on the email, we can customize what it says. We can see here it says, thanks for signing up. We're thrilled to have you here. You use your discount, just copy the coupon code below and enter it in at the checkout. So this is that 10% coupon we set up here. And for this email editor, we can also customize anything here. Our preview is in the middle. Clicking on any of the elements brings up some customization and editing options. We can add any new elements here by dragging them over. We can set our blocks, our body, as well as add different images. Let's say I wanna add an image on top here. I can then click on the image and then take a look at some stock photos. And let's say I wanna add this clothing icon or image here. We could also resize it if we wanted to. And when you're done any of these emails here, you can send a test email to yourself. You can also click save in the top right hand side. So if we exit the email here, this brings us back to our overall settings. Now to note, if you wanna customize any of the trigger options or anything like that, if we click on target, we can see when it showed and the when to show is set on a timer after 10 seconds. We can set how long to show it here at the bottom. 
Maybe we only want this showing up during a certain sale promotion. We can also see who to show it to. And to get back to the design, we would just click create. And we can see our coupon codes, which we can edit the design and the validations. So we're gonna limit one per signup per contact. So if we head back to our dashboard now, we can see our welcome discount pop-up is set up and we can see analytics on how many views it had, how many clicks, signups and the signup rate. So that's the first thing we wanted to set up here. This is the overall basic setup here from going to a sequence, you welcome email and collecting new email subscribers. Next, let's go and set up that automation. So on the top, we can go to automations here. We can see my drafts or the previous after signup automation I created. Let's go and create a abandoned cart automation. We can see it's been created automatically, but we can start it again just from going to new automation on the right hand side. And we can select the abandoned cart to be an email or a text. We could also create both. Let's go to the abandoned cart email though. So overall, when we open this up, we can see on the left hand side, we have our trigger settings. So this is going to control when the email is sent. We can set the minimum card value. By default, it's $1. We can set the maximum card value. Mind you, this is optional. We can restrict this to certain products or collections. We can select a specific coupon code to say, hey, come back to your card. We can give you 10% off. We can also set the time delay here. And we can change any of these settings on the left-hand side by clicking edit settings. I'm going to leave those as a default here. Next, we can then customize any of the emails. So we can see by default, a three email sequence is set up. The first email is sent one hour after, the second one is sent 23 hours after the first one, and the third email is sent one day after. We could add other emails here by clicking on the plus between any of these other emails and to edit a specific email such as the design, we can go to the bottom and the edit email button. This process is going to be very similar to what we did before. We can add our different sections. The card bar or card icon is going to show the exact card that the user has. It's going to do that automatically without you needing to customize anything. We could add our logo, maybe different buttons. Maybe we want to add a countdown timer to increase that sense of scarcity. But again, you can preview this or finalize or changes and let's head back to the series. To remove any of these emails, you can press the trash icon, but you should customize these to make it match the look and feel of your brand here so there is some theme consistency. To go and activate this, we'll go to the top right-hand side here, clicking on activate. Now the abandoned cart email has been activated for our users here. And so we've set up two things now. We've set up both the welcome series pop-up to go and collect email addresses. And when users have done that, they can initiate the abandoned cart series so we can follow up with them after they've added something to their cart. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations. It's going to include everything from your ad spend to your cost of goods sold to your transaction fees. So you can get a true understanding of how your store is performing, letting you make smarter business decisions. It includes a ton of different details and analytics so you can stay on top of your business. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and you can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below so you can get access to the Shopify app listing directly. This concludes the video here on how to set up Privy. We went over two different aspects of the app here. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.